you guys are Vango Shime. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we're gonna to be continuing with the Mandalorian episode four, chapter twenty. So obviously it doesn't have a title yet, so we'll see it in a hot second when we start the episode. Now, last week's episode thoroughly enjoyed it. The world building, as I've already said like a thousand times on this channel, is one of my favorite parts for any like story writing or writing in a show or movie, whatever. And last week's episode did not like <laughs> disappoint at all. Name Elia, I think her name is. In real life, I know her name is Katie O'Brien. She's been causing waves across the internet, which is amazing. But Elia in the last episode, and then the whole thing with Dr. Pershing, like, oof. There's a lot of cool theories I've seen. Some people are saying that she's, like, good, but she's taking care of Dr. Pershing in a way that, you know, it does look manipulative, but what if she's doing it for the sake of actually getting rid of him so he doesn't continue with the clone sort of, like, work? It's an interesting theory, but also it's like, ugh, like, the ugh. She's terrifying. But also it might be, like, who knows? But at the same time, she was, she'd make a really great villain, which is why I'm not writing it out completely as just being like, oh, she's doing it for the good of, like, everything. Ugh. I would like to see more villains, like female female villains especially, and just, mm, oh well. Anyway, end off of that, <laughs> it's just me going on a rant, I'm sorry, I'm really tired today, so I'm sorry if I'm like, blah, but <laughs> we're gonna get into this now, um, so remember, please leave remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games, so without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Oh yeah, I completely forgot as well, we also had bo basically joining Din's clan, a lot of people also talking about that, about like, you know, like, it's a, basically a cult, so like, they're sharing bo with all this love and praise and, you know, like, camaraderie, it's like, Argh! like, it's true, but also like, ugh, who knows what's gonna happen. Oh, Jesus, what's going on here? Are they practicing or what? Oh, damn, so it's like a complete continuation from the last episode. Interesting. Mmm, Grogu. Oh, why do they look like teeth? Oh my god. <laughs> Hi, Dan. <laughs> look at him walking in the background. Did you learn with the other foundlings? Aww. Over. But, Dad! <laughs> You're like, quick before he comes back. Next challenger. Oh god, Dan! Dude, he, I know he's 50 years old, but he literally is like a child. And you want them to fight him? Use the force on him. Crush his little skull. <laughs> I'm so mean. Agreed. And so too young to wear a helmet. And he's too young to fight. <laughs> one does not speak unless one knows. Perhaps this lesson is for you then. Damn, did wreck the kid. <laughs> it's so small. You take it easy on him, kid. Mm -hmm. Oh, Burkaton. She's so nice. Get. Oh! Oh, Grogu! Oh! I hate seeing him get- he's getting bullied! He's so small! It's like, no, I know he's 50 years old, but still again. He's a little baby! Get. Oh! Wreck him, Grogu! <laughs> oh! Winner! Yes! Good job, Grogu! Great job, kid. Oh, dear. the lighting looks so good there. Love it. Holy shit! Oh! Well, that kid got really wrecked. Damn. Oh! Nice. They look so cool. Oh! Burke time was smart. Oh, what a shot, dude. That's like fantasy plus Star Wars and sick. All in good time. I mean, he whooped the foundling's butt, so I wouldn't say he's that young. Oh, so she oh, okay. I thought it was just gonna screen wipe. So we're actually seeing him get some lessons, I think, or something. We all begin as raw ore. We refine ourselves through trial and adversity. The <laughs> Kurger. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. This is flashbacks. Oh my god. Everything's gonna be alright, kid. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, it's like baby, baby, Gurger. No! Oh my god. Oh my god. 
What a shot. Oh, shit! That's nice. I like that. I see it. I see it. Call back to last week's episode. That is quite nice. Dude, that is the most Coruscant looking ship ever. <laughs> oh my god, that is beautiful. What the hell, my dude? It is with these scraps of Beskar that I forged your next piece of armor. Mandalorian steel shall keep you safe. <laughs> you look lovely, Grogu. <laughs> I like that little, like, throwback. Because I love how, yeah, they're saying, like, you must face your past in order to reforge. And it's like, oh, that's really powerful in terms of Grogu's story. Um, I know that obviously he doesn't talk a lot, and obviously we don't understand a lot of the gibberish that he says, but it's such a powerful move in his story because, again, like, he hasn't, he doesn't understand his past fully to be able to move on in a way, and it's just like, oh! And then him being a Mandalorian as well, it's like he's got the best of both worlds in a way, but also it's really heartbreaking. Ooh, what a shot! Look at all the Mandalorians. Beautiful! <laughs> you are the leader of the war party. You have the honor of staying by the fire. This is the way. Must be so strange for her, because, yeah, again, her whole time has just been always taking the helmet off. So to sort of live in this culture must be so different to her. Oh, look, there she is. Oh, God, already you can see the, the helmet. Oh, my God. Wait until we clear the area. He's my son. Yep. <laughs> Even though it wasn't said in the first episode, everyone thought it was his son. Oh, my God. Oh, great. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, my God. Oh my god! <gasps> Great, now they have father and son. Get him, Berkaton! Get him! Oh my god, someone catch him! Oh, he should be fine. Where's the kid? That's the more important thing. <laughs> Dude, I love this, like, camera, like, angle. Oh my god! There goes the kid! Oh my god! Dead! Please, for the love of god! Get him, get him, get him, please, please. Okay, he's fine. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh my god, that looks so real. That's crazy. Oh! Circle of life, I guess. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. This is the way. This is the way. Oh, bless. That was beautiful. Thank you, Dean. This is the way. <laughs> and we have brought you three more foundlings in need of care and training. Is that so? <laughs> <laughs> How do they fit on the ship? Bloody hell! God, they look so ugly. <laughs> Inlay the signet of the night owl. Oh! With the mythosaur. The mythosaur belongs to all Mandalorians. It is always acceptable to wear. Ooh, damn! That's huge significance. I love that. Especially for her, because, again, we know where the Mythosaur is now, and also because of the fact that, like, yeah, that sort of represents her house. I think? Someone could correct me on that. But that's huge that it's at her home. It's like, mmm, this is a very big deal. Oh, that looks sick. Oh, shit. Wait, you're telling her?! Vision. No, no. Oh shit, she doesn't believe. She, uh, she did see one though, we saw it. But it was real. This is the way. This is the way. Oh. Even Bogota's like, bitch, I saw one. <laughs> this is why you should tell Din. Din will, wait. Is that it? Oh shit, that was directed by Carl. That was sick. I did like that. Ooh, oh, and Dave wrote this one, too. Hmm, nice. This is why she needs to tell Din. Din will believe her in a heartbeat and be like, let's go back and check it. Oh, if you told the bloody, um, Amara, she's gonna just be like, it's a vision, darling. This is part of being part of the clan or being a Mandalorian. It's like, nah, bish, I did see one. But I did like the, the themes that we had, especially about the, the foundling and, like, also, like, finding a place and sort of molding and refining, like, your... 
your um what is it like your story in your own way and in a way like I really like the chat that the armor had with Grogu even though like I have mixed feelings because again this is Death Watch it's like mm, you guys have done some pretty fucked up shit in the past so I'm not sure if I should support you all or not but I like it because like obviously with the 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 great throwback scene that we got we got like obviously did not did I'm talking about play Grogu um was able to sort of like reflect on his past and sort of like remember that moment and he still has a lot of way to go I feel like in terms of learning about his past and like accepting it for what it was and understanding what it was so I feel like that's really nice especially because like I was saying before it it's beautiful in contrast to what he is as a Mandalorian because he is a Mandalorian because he's Din's son but he also needs to learn that he has another past and another life that you know, even though he chose the life of a Mandalorian to be with Din, he still needs to accept that that was also a part of his past and is still a part of his life. This episode was great. I love the action and I loved that, like, the... I love, like, these animals that they keep... Oh, creatures, sorry. That they keep bringing into the show, especially with the Mandalorian. I don't know. It feels so right with the Mandalorian to bring all these creatures in and they were disgusting, ugly birds, but <laughs> they were cool. I really enjoyed them. I just wish that maybe the episode was longer. I think my biggest thing is, like, I wish it was longer just so we got to see more of, I guess, maybe Din's culture or maybe more characterization between the characters. Um... Just because, yeah, I, I love those moments where you have, like, yeah, again, even that moment between Paz Vizsla and Brokatan where he's like, you are the leader, you get to sit by the fire, this is the way. And it's like, oh, like, that's cool. Like, especially because, like, you'd think, like, he'd have such a big deal with, like, maybe her, like, being there and just, you know, being a bit iffy about it. But the fact that he immediately, like, because she's part of the clan, he respected her and was like, this is, this is for you, like, goodbye. And then <laughs> walked away. That's huge. So I really would have liked more character moments like that. I don't know if this is just me and maybe I'm tired or whatever, but I don't know. I just feel like we could have more character moments, like, I don't know, or like more quiet moments that I, I call them quiet moments, like between characters where it's more characterization happening. But again, I did, again, overall, that that's like my biggest criticism just because I feel like it's a little bit all over the place for me. But... I did love the character moments that we got with the armor and Grogu, um, and again, even with the few moments that we got with the clan. And so I do hope next episode, either it's more, like, I guess more in-depth looking at the, like, culture of this clan, especially because we got that final bit at the end where, you know, bo was like, I saw a bloody mythosaur, and she's not believing her, it's like, mm. like, there's a certain, I don't know, air to the clan where it's much, like, a lot of it is based in culture, like religion, I guess, or belief, but also like the idea of myth. So like legends and all that stuff. So it's like, oh, you saw a vision and you saw this and that. So it's like, mm. I think bo can only go for so long with that sort of stuff. So it's like, I'm excited to see like her reaction in that and whether she, if she leaves or like she speaks to Din or anything about it. So that'll be really interesting. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this episode of The Mandalorian. Again, I enjoyed the episode. Um, I obviously have a few criticisms for it, but I'm still thoroughly enjoying it. It's a fun show because, like I said, I started this at the beginning. Like, like Mandalorian is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be a little bit different. It's just like, yeah, I just want to see, like, where we're going in what direction, you know? <laughs> I'm very much like that. I just want to see hints towards, like, what's going to happen next. But I think definitely that ending point of, like, the whole thing with Bogotan and the Amara is definitely a good ending point. Because it's like, ooh, Bogotan doesn't really feel, like, secure, I think. Not that she doesn't feel safe, but more secure in this sort of, like, relationship with the clan, sort of. Because, again, a lot of it is based in, like, myth and legends, so it's, like, interesting. But yeah, I'm gonna shut up because otherwise I'm gonna keep talking. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, Bingo out. Woo!